that. And and That's then, a... dude, people people succeed. Really? Yeah, dude. Um, Corazon, Gage. Familiar with him? Nope. He's a peach main. I forgot where he lives. Gage sounds familiar. But uh, yeah, he started streaming like that, just like that, like oh. a camera pointed towards his phone. And I've seen a lot of other streamers like that, and now he he has a ton of subs. Like is on. He's got like a full on setup because people supported him. You know, it's the what matters is like you 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 start doing the craft and like people will see the consistency and they'll want to support and you'll level up to get better equipment. But in the meantime, we got Lumbre and T3 Dome. Yeah, I expect this match to be very rough. You know, usually we see uh, Lumbre, the one of course, setting up, throwing out the traps, you know, chasing people with PK Thunder, PK Fires, and we see, you know, a bunch of forward airs, a bunch of aerials, really. Yeah. But T3 Dome is about to set up a wall of projectiles. Oh, and it's not even really the projectiles that are going to give Lumbre uh, a hard time. It's going to be these uppy out of shield and the oh, whip. Wow. Okay, he's still living, 167%. The jump is gone, and he gets sniped out of the sky with that up-angled forward air. Really good stuff from T3 Dome. And you're totally right, Z-Fly. The, the tough part is, right, he, T3 Dome is just going to be pressing the B button a lot. And you saw Lumbre took almost 150% from that alone. I mean, he puts up this wall where if Ness gets in, manages to get in, he just gets the up B. So, and then reset to the neutral, set up shop again with these specials. But let's see if Lumbre uh, can make it back right here. Up air is not going to be enough. And of course, the recovery, yes. Richter does have a very exploitable recovery, but when you instantly end up at the ledge because you're going to for a tether drag, it'd be very difficult to shark with TK Thunder. Yeah. yeah it's, it looks difficult for Lumbre to get in a position where he can properly edge guard. T3 dump. Oh, oh. Ooh, okay. All right. Dude, this is so hard. This I don't know if this uh, stage layout is, is too great for, for Lumbre right now. It's like a free playing field for, for Richter. The most difficult part is the fact that Richter can like put holy water at the ledge or, or on, on that platform. platform. Yeah. And so when he throws option. it on the platform, it's like almost instant. Mm -hmm. And just says like, okay, I've taken away your jump option. Now you have to deal with holy cross and my whip. Alright, T uh, Lumbre already 140 on the second stock. Of B coming out again, <laughs> dude. I love that quickest of B. I love T3's dome tag being just press B. He knows. Forward throw? Okay, that's a kill for him. <laughs> Send him out of here. This is old. Uh, he didn't he didn't need to deal with it. <laughs> that was just a flex. I was just deflecting, just to get an off off the stage. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, I, I, I say just to flex, but it did have the utility. It, it like, oh, oh my what? god, dude, he <laughs> lived. <laughs> but yeah, the, the Asai Magnet, it absorbed the um, Holy Water, which got rid of that obstacle, and it also gives some added movement options. So it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I'm at 0%. It's, uh, you know, it shouldn't use this move. It's like, it's actually a versatile move. Oh, oh, wow. Dude, oh. oh my god. <laughs> forward air going through PK Thunder and getting tipper forward air. I am stressed. I'm stressed watching this, just watching Richter, like, pressing, pressing so many buttons on him, dude. But the option coverage is absolutely insane. T3 Dome doing a really good job of continually applying this pressure, not giving Ness any room to breathe. And that's, like, exactly how you play this matchup. Most other characters though, they, they wanna oppress them like up close. Mm -hmm. But like usually like with swords, right? You have a disjoint, you can like close the gap real fast with Chrome right. or whatever. Oh, right. But but this is just like the complete opposite because the perfect wall that T3 Dome is putting up, now like Lumbre has to try to get past it to even get any damage. And so far it seems like uh, Lumber's taking a very like aggressive approach, which may actually be a hindrance to him because he, he's taking a lot of damage for it. I mean, if he doesn't approach, it's easily done. We we all know how right. comfortable he is sitting back and like his tag suggests, just pressing B. Right. I, I guess I should clarify it by like aggressive is that he's trying to land on T3 Dome with a lot of aerials or or just like attack constantly. Um, rather than just like running up and shield. Like I haven't seen him really just go up and like shield too much. Maybe he's not getting the opportunity. It, it, one stock already eliminated only 5% on T3 Dome here. That's insane. 
okay, using his directional air dodge, making it back to stage. And, you know, I think it's kind of like you were saying, he hit, isn't really getting the opportunity to approach through the land. If you see right there, he was able to make use of a PK fire and put some damage onto T3 Dome. But we also see that Moonbray, like most Nesses, likes to approach from the air with like falling up air because you can combo off it. Yeah. Right, at this point, you know, that maybe put that solution on the back burner for a little bit. Back pocket. Oh, down throw. Oh, down air into the uh, up air. Not connecting, unfortunately, for Lumbre. Oh, even like crouching oh. just to get a low profile and dodge the nair that was coming from T3 Jones. That, let it, that allowed Lumbre to set up for that up smash. Yeah, that up smash actually barely killed, and it was a really good option for from Lumbre to like hold the up smash a little bit to get that extra damage he actually needed to get the KO. Otherwise, if he had just like released instantly, it was very likely that T3 Dome would have survived. That's right. The Holy Cross connecting onto Lumbre once again. 83%. Okay, but a PK fire oh. land. Double PK fire. This is going to be Lumbre's time oh. to go in. Oh, man. That was the most aggression that Lumbre has gotten to perform this entire set so far. Yes, and the edge guards continue. Great offstage play coming out from Lumbre, evening up the percents and throwing T3 Dome right back off stage. Are we see another down smash? What's it going to be? Lumbre. Oh, okay, landing with the up air, getting the up tilt in, possibly setting up for a juggle, but that cross saving T3 Dome on the way back. Uh oh, oh jump is gone. Hit by that, by the Holy Cross at the very end. Very unfortunate for Lumbre. It's not where he wants to be. He held on to the ledge a little bit too long, afraid of getting up into the holy water, but gets hit by the F smash instead. Down to his last stock here in winner's quarters. Lumbre on his winner side life now. Yeah, I like the using the side magnets to stall at the ledge in case T3 do Dome does in fact uh, snap to the ledge right away. He would have knocked him out of the tether recovery. Oh, dude, sick combo into the cross on the way back. Sick recognition from T3 Dome. However, was that up tilt? That was up smash. Up smash? Okay, I was like, there's no way up tilt. Though. I didn't mean. I didn't even see the up smash come out. That was weird. Was very fast. <laughs> Numeri, great reaction. See, uh, sawing T3 Dome. Set up with a short hop and just immediately pull the trigger. All right, forward tilt right here. Get him off me. Down air, converting to up B. Of course, you know, the bread and butters. The go to easy damage. Ooh. All right, the forward air. This is a precarious situation for Peter Dome. He forces out the air dodge, gets him with the up air. He will tether back to the ledge, though. And unfortunately, Moonbray wasn't able to push T3 Dome in a more horizontal position because that would have put uh, T3 Dome in a like, horrible spot. Um, but Herring out of shield, getting clipped by the Holy Cross. T3 Dome forced to use the directional air dodge. Okay. Is he going to make it no, back? No! He can't make it back. That was tragic. That was too far. He went... Uh, I think he thought he had enough distance. I kind of thought he th did too. To be safe, he could have just, like, hit himself into the wall to get a second up B. Uh-huh. But, yeah, I guess he he just thought he had enough distance. I, I think the angle he angled it slightly too low. Like, if he had angled it upwards a little bit more, he might have made it back. I don't know. That was unfortunate. Because he, he's good. He's good about he his 